single this Christmas? Me too. So I want you to tune in and let's jump into our feelings, expectations, and how to just navigate the beauty of this season as a single person. So first off, I wanted to just say thank you for all of my subscribers. Thank you because I set a goal to get to 100 and I've surpassed it by one last time I checked. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for sharing with your friends. Continue doing that. Let's continue to make this channel grow. As I continue to share my passion for motivation, for encouragement through resilience. So to all the single people this Christmas, my hands, like two hands, if I could like raise my foot, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm single. Christmas is next week. And I cannot believe that. Like, I keep thinking it's two weeks later and it's, it's no, it is on Tuesday. With the holidays, it is definitely a reminder of your relationship status. Let's just be real, right? Because everyone is sending you their beautiful Christmas cards with their family portraits and the beautiful babies and pets. You just kind of, you realize, okay, hmm, I'm not bringing home anybody this year. Or if you're hosting, no one's coming <laughs> to help me besides my other girlfriends, right? I didn't necessarily set a, a, a date in my head like, oh, I want to boo by Christmas. No, I want to boo any day now, right? But just to be real, I do believe that the holidays can kind of exaggerate and even further highlight your relationship status. And with that come just the regular pressures and the introspection of, is it me? Why hasn't it happened for me? It's been this long, that kind of thing. But this year I'm so blessed to be able to have some time to go see my fam. And it hit me that I'm the only single one. You might be in the same situation, but I'm so blessed and honored that my family has never made me feel uncomfortable or they've never asked any kind of intrusive questions. And where's your man? Why don't you have one? What's going on? What's wrong with you? But I also know that that's not the case for everybody. And so I know that some of you are walking into situations like that and some of you are probably still recuperating from some of those situations back in Thanksgiving. So you're kind of like bracing yourself for round two. I feel that it's very important to remember that a lot of the questions and updates they're stemming from a place of love they do care about you some of them just nosy but they really do care about you sometimes it's just a matter of timing sometimes it's just a matter of this life season that you're in at the moment and we can't control that but what we can do is control our reactions to things and so if you look at your life as if it's missing something if you're always looking at it through the lens of oh, if i could just then you are going to be depressed. You are going to be sad. You are going to always kind of be walking around like, man, if I could just have this, you're never going to be satisfied. But if you switch that lens and you look at it as, okay, let me look at my thriving life. Let me look at what is going right. And guess what? Even if you're in the midst of a storm like I've been in, you better find something to be grateful for, whether it's just the life, the breath in your lungs, because not everybody's even fortunate or blessed to have that. And I'm so blessed, as you saw from the last video, to even still be here doing this one right now. So you better find something to give God praise for. Because if you put all of your happiness in the status of being with someone, you've lost it already. Because no man, no woman can ever feel you like God. And if you put that pressure on this incoming person, that's just not fair. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen uh, some of those memes that were going around, rent a boo, rent a bay, really going around around Thanksgiving. And you could rent a, a man or a woman who they come with packages, different tiers of pricing, everything when, like making up a story of how y'all met, physical affection, holding hands, offering to wash the dishes, just getting in your parents' good graces. And I don't know anybody who actually did that, no shade if you did, but don't do that. Don't feel like you have to put on a show. And also don't feel as if you have to hype up other areas in your life to make yourself feel as if, okay, this isn't happening, but my career, I'm at the top of my career. I've done X amount of community service. These are all the trips I've taken. You don't know anybody, anything. Own who you are and stay in your lane. Instead of trying to come up with this long list of accomplishments, why don't you just focus on how worthy you are, how awesome you are, and how treasured you are for you. That's it. If nobody even acknowledges that, acknowledge that for yourself. It sounds as if giving you the cheesy cop out, but no, if you own your identity and you stay in your lane and you don't lose focus on who you are and why you're here, everything else is just going to be icing. Uh, there are times where I'm on social media and I'm like, these are such beautiful pictures. And you're just like, oh my God, one day I would love to do that. And I do, and I want it. But since it ain't here yet, am I going to lose sleep? Am I going to lose my peace over it? Absolutely not. And whatever you do, do not settle. Do not feel as if, okay, I'm getting older. I just need to just quickly just pick somebody. Don't fall prey 
to cuffing season. And for those of you who don't know what cuffing season is, between September and February, where people just start settling, they just start making irrational choices about entering into relationships with people that don't last past February because of Valentine's Day and you know, more serious commitments. But it's all in an effort to not be alone. It's getting colder, we're not going out as much, and so it's like, who can I snuggle? Who, who's gonna be my little Netflix and chill buddy? You better get you a sweater and a heated blanket. And so you don't want something that's temporary. You want something that's lasting. You want something that's built on foundation. And to do that, it's not something that you just pick out like, you know, something on Amazon. So don't, don't do that. Instead, get to know you, love you, date yourself. And any day now it can happen, but until and if it does, like, what are you going to forget who you are and, and not own your process and your story? No. So when you walk in there on Christmas day, wherever you are, whether you're hosting or you're going to a family or friend's house, you better look good. You better keep your head up high. You better slay. They ready because it could happen that day, right? You never know. But I think to enter into it already kind of like, oh, I hate the holidays because I don't have anybody. No, like, and what's the purpose of Christmas anyway, right? It's not even your birthday. So let's chill on all of that, first of all. In the meantime, to all my single people, own up to the beauty of this season. Enjoy your folk. Enjoy your friends. And I mean, one day you'll look up and it'll be there and then you'll be giving advice to someone else and going, oh, savor this moment, savor your singleness, savor when you just get up and do what you want to do and you don't got to ask nobody for nothing. And But why, why wait to get to that side? Do it now. So season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Joy Noel, all of those things from my heart to yours. And I just pray that you have an amazing time and any day now, it can happen. So follow me on all my stuff, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. If you're looking for a Christmas present, you can get my book, Deep Waters, Trusting God When Your Feet Can't Touch Bottom, available always. And definitely continue subscribing and sharing and leave those comments. We'll talk soon.